What's up YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to 60 Seconds Reatomized, where in this game I want to see how long I can actually survive after we've scavenged and everything in the house. A normal run, but I want to see how long we can survive and I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new and let's go! I never pick Dolores because she, she always goes missing. So I never even like pick her up. Let's go. Begin adventure, fat man. Okay, so behind us is the door. There's the Loras, there's the gun, there's the axe, there's food. The radio first, it's the furthest. Let's get everything out of the way. There you go. Easy peasy. This thing is water out of my way, no! Water. Uh, book. Okay, there's a medkit against the... This time I'm grabbing the family though. Let's grab uh, all the family members. Okay, got some family members. I don't think I'm gonna care about the girl because she can just like come in by herself. I'm sorry if I'm a bit loud. I'm panicking. Uh, axe. And then medkit. And then... Shit! Okay, I need to go back there. I didn't even grab the gun or anything. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Grab that. Grab the food. Grab water. I don't even know if I have enough water. This is bad. Oh my god. It's not enough time. Run! I'm not grabbing you! I'm grabbing one. Did I just grab nothing? Shit! <laughs> that was close! That was close. Holy shit. Scav, yeah, dude, scav this is, that is so stressful. I got so much water I didn't know. But I got the medkit, I've got the padlock. I don't have the map, which is fine. Uh, I didn't grab the gun, but that's okay. Whew. The girl can always make it, make it back. So let's see. Got everything. Uh, turns out being magic can really work in your favor because this was already there. No one should be hungry and playing a game or two might be a good way anyway. How long do you, do you guys think I can survive this? I am guessing, I hope, with the right choices, I can make it about 50 to 70 days. The longest I've made it was actually like 88 days, I think. So, we thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying. Anyway, should be fine. Not gonna send someone out. Are we gonna send someone out? What do you guys think? Let's send someone out. Early. Our favorite radio station is stop broadcasting. Let's switch it on. It's never a good idea to get, to get too many things because if there's an earthquake, a fire, or a flood, we lose two items immediately. We did what we could. Do, do, do. Uh, ration. Everyone should be thirsty, but that's fine. And then let's send him out with a briefcase. And an axe. We have a padlock if someone comes. Okay, he's gone. Mamacita and little Timmy is behind. Dehydration. I think everyone is dehydrated. Uh, as we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door uh, broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in a pretty bad shape. All they wanted us to... Uh, do, do, do. Would this benefit me at all? Let's give them water. I wonder if this would benefit me. Doesn't look like it. We got a map! Oh my god, I'm so blind. We never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. A minute later, those uh, pe poor people were hugging us like there were n was no tomorrow. Quite, quite possible, actually, and thanking us for the gesture. So here's a lesson for everyone out there. Uh, what is it again? Jeez, I was gonna build up to it now. Uh, be good, and good things will happen to you. Something like that. Everything is shaking. I just, I called it. And we have to keep the radio. Do we? Actually, I'm not going to keep the radio because... Fuck it. I'm not going to keep the radio because the military is not going to come save us. Ever. Everyone okay? Let's hope so. Should be hungry. Nothing. There is nothing more surprising than a knock on the floor out the door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives? That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? Why not? Why not open the door? Let's see what happens. I'm always curious to see what it would be. Hey! I said it! I said it! I said it! 
she will come back down literally by herself. She's the only character in this game that will actually come down by herself. I called it. We were expecting trouble, big or small. What we didn't expect to, uh, to find behind the door was Mary Jane. She told us she was able to survive by hiding in the fridge. That is literally what Indiana Jones did, if you think about it. Uh, in the Lost Skull or something. We can save her. She should be hungry and thirsty. Tired, hungry, thirsty, hurt. Thirsty and thirsty should be fine. We found some weird mushrooms growing on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter. We're going to say no to this. Are we going to go? Have I said yes, though? Have I said yes once? Because if I haven't, I can do a no challenge. We just healed her. Come on. But he brought back, I think, soup, soup and water, which is great. We may be hungry, but we, but there are just some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. Okay, so he, uh, he returned with the axe. He didn't return with the briefcase. Shit. But we got uh, soup and water, which is fine. You should be hungry. Uh, dehydration. Thirsty. Dehydration. They're in the same boat. Am I going to send someone out? If she goes out, she's just not going to come back. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny shelter. Well, we don't have a freaking radio. I decided to give up the radio for the mask, I think. Maybe I should send Timmy, Timmy out. Timmy is such a beast in this game. If there is one thing we need to do, it's to use a radio on a regular basis. Anyway. Uh, starvation. Hungry. Dehydration. And starvation. Let's send little Timmy out. He's a beast when it comes to collecting stuff. We have thought phone calls. Okay, who's going to go out to get phone calls? Who is not sick? Let's send her out. She's not sick. Maybe we get to actually build the, the ice cream truck in this game. I really want to either play uh, after this. Buckshot Roulette. Don't know if you guys have heard of it. Uh, or Stardew Valley. But like I'm getting kind of hooked on Stardew Valley. Anyway. Uh, a phone was cut short. Sorry for not reading this. If you guys want me to read that, it's just uh, it's the same stuff over and over again. But I'll... Dehydration. Who's... Starvation. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's sort them out one by one. Let's send out to me with a gas mask. Don't know if that's needed. I don't know what it would bring me, to be honest. I just made a video for YouTube on Buckshot Roulette. I haven't released it because I uh, uh, played that before I started streaming. Uh, if you want to see it, it's quite interesting. It's very luck based, I think. I think. But I'll play around. It's quite fun. Very, very small game. To me, it went out to the wasteland. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's high time we stopped working, wondering about what's going on and started asking questions or at least anyway. I don't know. Do you ever find yourself when it comes to games like this, you read the, the book, right? But you don't think. Like you don't think while you read. I don't know. I'm not focusing always when I read because like the radio was scratched out. Uh, da, 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 dehydration. Uh, nothing. Okay. Our first aid kit is of no use and we need to do something about it. Yes! Does this... Uh, for some bizarre reason, we believe we can use lethal box spray. I almost misread this. Finally! We're getting some meds. And I have all the family members. This is going fantastic. Let's go. Hell yeah. Boom! Thirsty starvation. Fine, fine, dehydration. Uh, we were pretty sure Mary Jane had her birthday. Okay, can't give shit to her for her birthday. Sorry, girl, is what it is. Okay, he is healed. That's good. Boom, 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 boom. Dehydration, starvation. Wow, she's really hungry. Knock, knock, this sounds always surprises and confuses us. It could mean anything, good or bad, but we're always curious. Should we open the door? Are we going to do it? I can't imagine it's something bad. Fuck! I knew it! A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some various looking equipment gave us purified water. So we got water, but she got sick. How? Okay. Hungry, thirsty, hungry, sick. Starvation. 
As long as we have food and water, we can blah. Again. Shit, man. That's not good. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. We've got so much water now. Did she come back with more water? If there's one thing we need to do... Oh, it's Timmy that came back. Uh, what did you bring? Three waters? That's all? Another bug spray, so another med kit? And he broke the mask. Okay. Hungry. Dehydration. We have so much water. Thirsty, hungry. And... Hungry th okay. Are we gonna... S isn't Ted fine now? Ted is fine. We can send him out next. Or we're gonna say... I don't want to say Mary, Mary Jane. I want to wait for Mew to Mary Jane. There isn't a lot of space down here. And we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose uh, today and revealed a hole. We felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? Let's do it. I am not sure what we got or didn't get. We got a can of food. I didn't see that. When there's so many, you don't know. Um, by the way, uh, House, where are you from? If you're st if you're still in the chat here. Let's see. Hungry, thirsty, do -do -do, dehydration, uh, starvation. Sending Ted out with the checkers board? Why not? He left. Hungry sick. Hungry dehydration. Shit to me. Uh, our patience is winning thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there is any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out a pair of animal eyes. Nope. Don't eat us. I think we made it to day 53 the last time. We felt it was too risky to face whatever horror awaited in the shadows. There's a knock on the door. Is it a salesperson? Starvation. We need food. We found an anonymous note next to our shelter door. Whoever wrote it requested that we send a representative. Okay, Dolores, go. Hopefully she will come back. Really? Did you bring anything at least? The meeting was organized by, tw by twin siblings. Nothing, just the twin siblings. And now she is sick. Flip, man. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty. We're losing everything. Let's heal that wound, otherwise he will die. Okay. There goes the axe. Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. It was a bit painful, but it was soon over. Uh, sick, hungry, dehydration, and starvation. We always steered away from casinos. Fuck you. I'm never on, never gambling again in that game, in this game. <laughs> he came back with more food, flashlight, if I didn't have it, radio, no medkit. But we can make a medkit. Gambling is terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set to the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. Okay. He's also sick. Everyone is sick. Water. We have so much stuff. Uh, okay. We have so much surviving stuff. We can actually survive a very long time now. We do not have to send anyone out. We knew that the government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. Starvation. Wow, wait, what? Everyone is hungry? Okay, let's give food to everyone. I'm not gonna send Timmy out just now. During our last expedition, we finally reached, uh, approached that nearby vehicle. It was an ice cream truck, missing wheels and a few other crucial components. That, that, the outside, the outside was rusty and a little burnt up. If we, if we hope to ever drive away from here, we could scavenge for something to reinforce it. Let's go! Holy shit. That was quick. That was day 23. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Armed with a flashlight, we we braved the darkness of an almost intact basement. A few houses down the street. Wait, let me actually read that. There were lots of 
cobwebs and an impressive collection of barbecues. We grabbed some grills to install on our vehicle for protection. It smelled wonderful too. Oh, the flashlight didn't make it. Shame. Okay. So, but we got this. Happiness. Dehydration. Dehydration. Does he have everyone water? We have to send out little Timmy again. And then a sleazy looking trailer carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder. Uh, how much cans of soup do we have? We have a lot. Let's get it. Let's get the cat. Why not? Okay. We've got two sick people, the grown ups. We gave the cat to get the cat. What? What? We gave the can to get, to get the cat. Should be fine. Okay. We sent Timmy out with is it a Boy Scout book. What do you guys think? A map. Let's send him out with a map. It looks empty again. We're losing so much stuff, but we have so much food. Maybe I shouldn't have sent them out. Uh, do 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 do. Yesterday during charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell that. Let's let's teach her how to spell. Will we get something in return for it? Not to sound needy. Okay. Hmm. Dolores does not mess around. Oh, we got a flashlight because of it. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math provision, followed by a short physics course and ending on tinkering with random objects in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of our shelter has improved today. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, starvation, starvation. Not good. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably coming to kill us. Let's open the door. Open says to us. The, the, take the cat. What happened? We got an axe. When we picked outside, we were greeted by a group of high school students. Let's go. Dehydration. Jeez, it's either dehydration or starvation. Flip. Both? Sherikov sure can uh, take care of itself. Address on its collar. Check that. Uh, no. Come on, man. There's a knock on the door. Hopefully, it's a salesman. Cat made his choice to stay here and we'll respect it. Uh, fatigue, hungry, and fine. We were happy to open the door today and see some friendly faces of the siblings. They want the axe. I don't think they use the axe up, but it's fine. It took a few hours, but we managed to chop everything they asked. I had this in the previous game as well. And da 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 boom. Uh, okay, not nothing. But I'm happy about the truck. That was, the truck came very quickly. We can take care of ourselves. Okay, so Dad is hungry. Okay, everyone's fine. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's that uh, double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. I'm not going to use the axe for a rat. We have a cat. <coughs> Tom and Jerry. Can you guys not beat the cold? The common cold? That beast of a rodent won it won and stole our food. Bastardo! Wow. Okay, this went south very fast. Another broker from the military. Okay, we don't have playing cards. Why do we have need playing cards? I should have read that. Shit. Timmy is back! Without this. What did he bring? Now we have playing cards. He probably brought water as well. Uh... Two bottles of water and playing cards, like I said, and minus one map. Okay, so he was not a beast in this round. Okay, everyone's fine. We're not gonna send someone out now. We've been we're hearing some some soft scratchy noises in the shelter at night. Uh, it's the cat. It's not really doing anything. Uh, we're not gonna follow it. We just we know it's going to its master. We just need to be ready when the when the siblings comes. If the do, uh, do, do, do. starvation, we need meds, man. Oh yes, we can get meds. 
Today we were visited by a strange looking little man. I don't mind giving the playing cards for meds. Who should we rescue? I think we should rescue Ted. Because the Loris is a little bit hopeless. Do, 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 do. Yep. And you are nothing. She's going to die. So she's just going to lay there. Sorry, not sorry. Dehydration. Now we need to send someone out. Let's actually send her out. But she will definitely not come back. We might be safe inside these walls. That's nice. Or should we send out Mary Jane? Can she not beat the common gold by herself? What? Bravely ignoring our symptoms during one of the insane episodes at around 3, last night Sherikov ran face first into the wall, causing a loose brick to fall out behind it was a cigar box with some ammunition. Wow! Okay, freebie. I'll take that. S everything. 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 Nothing. It's oh, I can't send anyone. That's bad. But why? Ted is still tired. A few days of rest is what he needs. Do 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 do. Should be fine. He should be hungry. He should. He's fine. No one can go outside. After all the days we spend down here, we're not exactly clean. Let's use the ammunition to clean ourselves. A knock on the door means a traitor. She healed. You see. Did you or not? It's the smell that's the biggest thing. Uh, Dolores is not even for her. Needs some rest. She seems exhausted. Was cured from her illness. Let's go. We've got the whole family. This is fantastic. Starvation. Now we can send. There's no way you can send Ted out there in his current state. Uh, exhausted. No one can go because they're too tired. We welcome the. Probably crazy elite scientist in our shelter. The shine science scientist. The scientist will want water, so that's one way to get out of this place. So we're waiting for the siblings to actually like do something. <gasps> we need to get out now. We need to go or send someone. Otherwise we are screwed food wise. Ah okay, Ted, you're the one. The siblings and their friends came to shelter today to inform their camp has been finished. Now they wish to establish some sort of a schooling system with the map. Camp, some of the kids didn't even manage to learn to read before the bombshell. They need any books they can get their hands on to help educate the youngsters. And so far, the only reading material they found were some communist propaganda flyers. Okay, let's teach the children how to read, I guess. I don't see anything we got in return, though. The book is gone? Uh, okay, it's... Whatever. Dehydration. Everything. Uh, dehydration. Fine. Okay, Ted, make us proud. Take the axe. We have a padlock to defend ourselves, so take the axe. Should he? Let's go. Bring back some food! When do we get the dog, though? Can you get the dog? Ted left. Boom. Starvation. It's not gonna last long. The cat wandered out of the shelter and returned with a small note from the crazy scientist urging us to help him with the next project. Let's see what happens. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Okay, everyone's semi-fine. We received another transmission from the military. They'll be doing a quick sweep of the area and asked our survivors to leave markings at the nearest bus stop to indicate they're, they are around. Okay, damn it, we missed our chance to let the military know we are here. There is a good bet they will get back to us again. But when will that be? Okay. Um, everything. Little Timmy. A very loud knock. Dehydration. Dehydration. Nothing. It's him. How many bottles of water do we have?
I guess we have to if we want to be saved. Hopefully that doesn't kill us. No water left. We shared what we could. It was enough. The doc nodded with approval and promised he'd come back before disappearing with, all, with our supplies. Please don't be thirsty. Starvation. Dehydration. The wasteland is full of surprises like this man on the other side of the door knocking and claiming that he is willing to offer a lot of uh, a lot for decent ammunition. This is not good. That sounds like Ted coming back. Please, waterman. Oh, we're safe, Ted. He brought water. He brought a book. You madman. He brought a gun. We could tell the stranger was disappointed, but that was none of our business. Two cans of soup. Two bottles of water. Another book. He lost the axe, oh well, and a gun. Let's freaking go. Ted is the man. You, my guy, you're the guy. You're the man. Fatigue. Um, okay. Can't send him out again. Can we send Timmy out? Should we send Timmy out? What is the next quest? Uh... Okay, we know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. Let's send Timmy out next. Uh, and then they must have supplies. In our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of our family is more important. Will this work? Is the question. We're doing it. Oh, she went nuts. We went. We uh, got what we needed and came back. Is this what we needed? We needed we needed an harmonica harmonica. That's exactly what we needed. Starvation. Fatigue, hungry, crazy. He needs everything. So we definitely need to send someone out. Are we gonna risk it for the biscuit? Dolores with a harmonica. Is she sick though? She's not sick. She never comes back and that will screw us. I hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot. Day 48. <sighs> Dehydration. Nothing. Wait, what? No. Sure times are hard and there isn't much to do but shave and we don't have that. No axe, no shave, maybe another time. Fatigued, dehydration and starvation, and damn, damn girl. Last night the whole shelter was woken up by Ted screaming bloody murder. He was terrified, shouting something about tentacled radioactive mutants on the top of his face. Is he gonna go nuts as well? We at least made it to day 50, I'm happy about that. He didn't go nuts. Ted and Mary Jane refused to apologize and move on and instead went straight into a state of paranoia. He seemed to think Mary Jane had it out for him while Mary Jane claimed it was Ted's face that hit her foot. And not, <laughs> not the other way around. What? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since you know most of the people aren't around anymore. Uh, here's someone at the door. Water chip. Don't care about a water chip. Boom. Starvation. Shit. Dehydration. Ted and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Today they got into an argument about movie characters, specifically who could win in a game battle. Muted Godzilla or Muted King Kong? It's a tricky one for sure and the debate is heated who will come on top. I think, personally, mutated Godzilla or mutated King, King Kong. King Kong is strong, uh, but I feel Godzilla, mutated Godzilla, will have bigger arms and shit. I, I would say Godzilla, so Ted. Because, I mean, that's how it reads, right? Ted and Mary Jane, Godzilla or King Kong. So I'm guessing Godzilla goes with Ted. I think Godzilla will win. What do you guys think?
Mary Jane was so confident about her case, she said she would uh, bet a full can of soup on it. In the end, Ted's argument, Ted's argument were, were just stronger and Mary Jane begrudgingly, what a word, handed him a can. Wait, so they're sharing cans, she handed him a can and now we have a can. <laughs> what? Uh, dehydration. Starvation. Dolores. We received another transmission. Can't do anything about that. Please don't tell me uh, Dolores is not coming back. Damn it, we missed our chance. She Okay, no news is good news. Dehydration. Timmy noticed his telescope in a pile of rubble on the other side of the street. He got really excited. Yeah, let's send him. He's not crazy. Let's send him out. With that snoring and not a door opening, I think I think uh, Dolores is gone. Timmy ret returned in the morning, tired but very happy. He says he saw a spaceship flying by, one with American flag on it. Surely that can't be true. He's probably making things up. Major. Okay, so no news about Dolores. Can you stop eating? Timmy is bored out of his mind and he won't leave Ted alone. First he wanted to play tag, now it's a hide and seek, where, which are both terrible ideas for a small shelter like this. Ted is in a bad mood and just wants to be left alone, but Timmy isn't giving up. How about charades? Let's play, let's uh, let them have charades. Hey, she came back! With playing cards, an axe, a med kit, and she's sick. How does that help me? How does that help me? A med kit, but she's sick, so I have to use it on her. She's been sick twice now. Oh my gosh. Well, this is a useless trip. Dehydration. The mad scientist has asked for one of us to join him in his lab for an experiment that's apparently vital to his project. We don't really know what to expect, but he says it's for research. Let's send little Timmy. Now we have to send someone out again. And we can't. Should we go outside in progress? That's bad. He wants everything. Starvation. We're not going to make it. That trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. So we're having some food. Yet for some reason we would like to tidy this mess up. Those giant queen cockroaches are pretty good motivator. Not going to use any of those because I can still make a medkit. And the cat can eat them. I think Mary Jane is going to leave soon. We underestimated the value of this environment. We thought we had a cockroach infestation on our hands, but Sherikov took care of it. Yep. Please don't be thirsty. Okay, she's gonna... They're both gonna leave? A gang of dogs started banging on the door, ordering us to surrender, give up all our supplies. How do we respond with that? Shoot them! Danger zone! Break or use everything possible in your shelter. Uh, they're gonna leave now. I don't have any water for them. Uh, to Ted and Dolores argued about everything lately. Today's heated argument is about who should empty the bucket in the corner. Both of them swear it's not their turn. Somebody has to cave in and do it, but who? Well, she is very, very thirsty. So I'll just pick him. Wait, does that mean uh, Timmy came back? Okay, so she left, Timmy came back, and she's dead. Ted's excuse for not taking out the bucket was back pain. The Lord didn't believe him and nagged until he finally caved. He slipped and fell while carrying the heavy load and definitely hurt himself. What? Timmy came back from the mad scientist. He's very confused. If, uh, and Mary Jane left. And now he they should be thirsty. Dehydration. Wait. What? Let's send Ted out. This is so bad. Timmy has 
been sitting there saying shit. The game is about to come to a close. 60 days! I'm happy with that. 60 days. What a rough one. Um, starvation. Okay, let's send that out. With an axe. Timmy's about to die. He died? Uh, it's the end. 68 days. He's not dead? He brought water? Let's go. We can still actually win this one. Uh, he... Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits. Uh, will the padlock hold? Please don't give it now. Okay. Lucky number 69. We didn't think that a small padlock could stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole, br whole break in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Okay. Can't send them out, can we? We can't send them out. The army is on the radio again, and we have playing cards to do the whole signal thing. Does this mean they will actually come and save us? There's a knock. The cards are in place. All we need to do is wait for the army to pinpoint our location. That shouldn't take long, we hope. Um, the cat injured us. Holy shit! Fatigue, hurt, tired, sick, thirsty, starvation. Everything is wrong with him. Knock, knock. This sounds always surprises us. Uh, is he sick? He is sick. Might as well open. Day 70. I'm surprised I lasted 70 days. The end. I'm. You know what? I'm happy. Sukan into space. What? Did we make it? The crazy bastard is sending us towards the stars. Who knows if uh, we'll reach our destination. To be fair, we're not sure what our destination is. The doc didn't tell us that. He can't be offered to take care of our shelter while, w until we're back. Where we're, where we're going, we don't need journals, so we decided to leave our notebook behind. Whoever reads this last entry, wish us luck. We hope to be back one day with tales of great wonder. Um, he didn't perish, so we spent 71 days in the shelter, and then what happened? This guy saved us. Reach for the stars. Did we win? Oh my god! Your fate remains unknown. Successful expedition, 7 out of 7. I'm so happy about that. 